Now at 530, police are searching for the driver who hit a 12 year old girl outside Western Hills High School on Friday. It's an area that school officials say now is a hot spot for crashes involving students crossing the street where they're supposed to. Nine Hundred Sides Pat LaFleur spoke with school and city officials to see how they're addressing this problem. I'm here at the intersection of Ferguson Road and Prosperity Place, just a few hundred feet from Western Hills High School. It was this very crosswalk where just last week a 12 year old was hit by a hit and run driver. Turns out that student was just the latest in what's becoming an alarming trend. It was a phone call every parent dreads getting just once. But when Asia Allen heard her daughter Kenya Austin was hit by a car walking to school, it was an all too familiar feeling. Honestly, it's deja vu for me. Um, Two years ago, I got the same phone call um, in near the same location. The same thing happened to my son. School officials estimate in the last three years alone, drivers have hit as many as 10 students near Western Hills and Dater High Schools. Principal Stephen Sippel was there moments after Kenya was hit. He said there are more crosswalks in the area than school staff can monitor on their own. We have security officers at some of the crosswalks, but not all. And there are other immediately adjacent uh, crosswalks nearby. School board member Eve Bolton worries that the district's high schools are left out when the city hands out new safety lights and signs. State law does not require it around high schools, but it requires it around our elementary. So the number one problem is there's not enough safety uh, effort being done. There are four crosswalks with signage along Ferguson Avenue in front of the school, including where Kenya was hit. That has City Councilman P.G. Sittenfeld thinking more enforcement is needed. There is signage in these places. There are engineering things we've done, actually installing crosswalks. But I think the more that this happens, um, the unacceptable sort of amount that this happens, I think there just needs to be a massive uptick in enforcement. Meantime, parents like Asia Allen are wondering when enough will be enough. How many children have to be injured or potentially killed before something's before change occurs. Now we're told that the school board went to city council this afternoon with a list of requests as the year comes to a close. Among those requests, more signage and more crossing guards. Reporting in West Price Hill, Pat LaFleur, nine on your side.